no, hold on, cut. I need my sunglasses. A roof, a roof deck, a uh, roof storage container. Anyway, it's a Thule uh, cargo container, uh, car roof container. Uh, 16 cubic feet of space, which I need dearly, because if you look at this 4Runner, when I go on my road trips, I get filled up in here, and I need more space. And I have huge containers, and if I want to pull into a casino or someplace, or a, a truck stop and sleep for you know a few hours, I can't do that without taking everything out. And that gives away the fact that I'm stealth camping in there, and that's a dead giveaway. So we can't have that. So we have the new Thule from Sweden, costs us $600 plus dollars uh, with the tax today. When it comes to having fun in life, we have to spend the money with, that makes us happy. So anyway, the Thule uh, will be wonderful. I can put my camp chairs up there, uh, sleeping bags, all sorts of stuff. That I can actually still get through my sunroof and have plenty of space up here. So uh, the Thule, I was afraid it was gonna come up here too far and block my view, block my escape and uh, it doesn't, so it's great. All right, so you're probably all wondering how I access this thing. It's kind of high up, how do I get to it? So what you gotta do is you gotta climb up here, like this, climb up on your, on your tire. All right, so this way, we don't unlock it to the left like you would think, you normally open things to the left. You open it to the right, and then it pops open, and we have all this space. You could probably fit a dead body in here if you wanted to. And the smell would stay out of your car, so there'd be no problem with it the smell of the dead person. Now, of course, it opens from both sides. In the old days, they only open one way. These days, they open on both sides. So again, we simply climb up here, climb up on the tire, put our, insert our key. We love to insert things, as you all know. And we turn it to the right. And then this side pops open. So, and again, if I need to get the dead body out from this side, I can do that too. So you may wonder where we bought this thing. Uh, we are at REI in Manhattan Beach. Uh, wonderful store. You know, if you want to buy this online, it's the same price. And you're not going to get the REI satisfaction and the customer service, which we had wonderful customer service today. Lisa, if you're out there, you were extremely helpful. There was another guy who thought we might be manhandling the product. We weren't. We were handling it with kid gloves, like a baby. And uh, but Lisa, you were fantastic. And thank you again, Lisa. All of you guys out there, please visit your Manhattan Beach REI and tell them we sent you. All right, so you guys are probably wondering why did I buy a car carrier, a Thule car carrier, when I'm gonna get a Sprinter like this one? Well, this is the REI Sprinter, and it's the same exact size as the one I'm getting, except mine's gonna go four wheel drive, so it'll be a little hot, higher, a little taller, it's three inches. But anyway, you're probably asking that question. Well, the answer is that I went to Mercedes the other day, spent three hours there, they were supposed to be able to order this thing back in uh, last September, and they still can't order it, and they don't know when they're gonna order it. It'll take another year after they order it just to get it, and uh, so I need a vehicle with more space. So until I get my Sprinter, it's gonna be just like this, I've gotta have my roof carrier.